hi, this is Jar from Bike Wagon. And Brad had asked us, how do I know what derailleur fits on my bicycle? So I'm going to try to explain to you the variety of different types of derailleurs that are out there now. It used to be quite simple. It used to just be clamp size and top or bottom pole, but now it's not so simple. The first thing that you want to determine is what style of um, fitting, I guess, it uses. Does it use a clamp? If it's using a clamp, then you want to determine is it a 34.9 clamp, a 31.8 clamp, or a 28.6 clamp. Those are the three size tubings that are most common in bikes. Um, if it's not a clamp, it's possible then it could be either a direct mount um, clamp so, or direct mount derailleur. So the direct mounts come in a variety of different sizes and shapes. So this particular one is a direct mount. These two bolts right here will direct mount somewhere directly onto the frame. This one here has a single mount right there on the top that you can move up and down and mount onto your frame. Um, again, here's another one with two little bolts. And these are actually different width spacing than these two. So they're a different direct mount. So you'll need to, if you have a direct mount, you'll need to consult your manu the manufacturer and ask them exactly what size and, and spacing that your direct mount is. There's also what they call a brazon derailleur, which is very common in a road bike. So this one here usually has on a carbon bikes and a few other ones, a little tab that is brazed onto or riveted or whatever onto a carbon frame or on other ones brazed on. And then this mounts directly to it. So as far as clamp sizes, there are um, ones, a lot of derailleurs now come with a bunch of different shims. So this particular derailleur right here is a 34.9 and in the bag comes different shims to make it either a 31.8 or a 28.6. But not all of them come that way. So when you do look for it, you do need to look for that size. Um, the next thing that you want to determine is whether you use uh, what they call a high clamp or a traditional derailleur where this clamp is up high and the derailleur swings from below the clamp. Okay? Or this one is what they call a low clamp design and the derailleur's kind of swinging above the clamp. And these are configured, uh, were changed, this change from this to these in different shapes and sizes because of all the different full suspension and different types of bikes that are out there. Um, they all take a little bit different fitment. And again, consulting your, if you're buying a new frame and you don't know what it is, then consult that manufacturer to ask them what style of clamp in high clamp, low clamp, whatever it is to fit your bike. If you have your existing derailleur, then just match it up to that. Is your existing derailleur a low clamp or a high clamp? Um, the last thing that you want to look at is what type of cable pull. Some bikes run the cables across the top tube and then they come down the seat tube and reach the derailleur. So that would what we would call a top pole derailleur. And some bike manufacturers run the cables down the down tube and come underneath the bottom bracket to reach the front derailleur. And that's what we would call a bottom pole derailleur. So this particular uh, derailleur right here is what we would call a top pole derailleur. So the cable connects here and it pulls up this direction. So that's a top pole derailleur. Um, this derailleur right here clamps and the cable comes from below the bottom bracket and pulls down to move the derailleur out. And that's what we call a bottom pull. Now, some manufacturers have designed some of them with what they call a dual pull. So that this particular one can use, be used either way. The cable can come from the top right here and pull this derailleur, if I can get this to move, out like that and move it. Or the cable can come underneath, wrap around this piece, and connect onto here, and now be a bottom pole, but still the same derailleur. So to review on how to determine the derailleur, uh, the first thing you're going to start with is, your, is it a clamp on derailleur, and what size clamp? Is it going to take a 34.9, a 31A, or a 28.6? You also want to determine whether it's a high clamp, like this one, or 
is it a low clamp like this one? Uh, the next thing you want to determine if it's not one of those clamps is, is it a direct mount and what style of direct mount? Is it a two bolt direct mount like this one? Is it a single bolt direct mount like this? Is it a, what they call a brazon derailleur like this? Um, and then from there, once you determine that, then you need to determine whether it's a top pull or a bottom pull. So this one here pulls from the top, moves the derailleur. This one here would pull down and moves the derailleur. Can't get a hold of it, there you go. And this one right here is what they call a dual pull, which can be used for either one. And then of course, the oddball E-type mount, which is mounted by the bottom bracket. If you have any other questions on this, just uh, leave comments below or you can email us at bikewagon.com or on Facebook with hashtag AskJarf.